Hi there, it's Miracle. The other day I was in a little bit of blue because I discovered one of my friends is having some tough life difficulties. I really wanted to help her but all I can do was to comfort her and that seems really powerless. So today, inspired by that event, I want to recommend some books that we can read when life gets harder and hopefully these books can cheer us up and make our life easier. The first book I recommend today is called Furiously Happy, a funny book about horrible things by Jenny Lawson. This is a memoir about the author's mental illness, mainly depression and anxiety, and how that affected her life. It seems depressed, but the way the author writes is really humorous. It seems like she has a hilarious answer to every bad situation in life. And she is sending the message of you are not alone to us, the readers, which makes me very relatable. And also, I recommend the audiobook, which is performed by Jenny Lawson herself. It is exactly the kind of book you want to listen to when you are feeling down. The second book I recommend here is called Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. This is a historical fiction as well as a mystery book happened in a small town in England, right when the heat wave happened in 1976. Following two townsgirls, Grace and Tilly, we know that a person called Mrs. Chrissy disappeared in the town one day, and no one knows where she went or if she's still alive. So, as two very curious girls, Chris and Tilly of course wanted to figure things out, so they started to investigate. But in the meantime, the secret of the town from 10 years ago slowly revealed. You would think this is a typical historical fiction, which is true, but the tone of the book is just so relaxing. And because of the main character are only 9 and 10 years old, they have lots of things in life that they don't understand. So it's very soothing to watch the girls try to understand the world of adults and how they have so many things that they wouldn't discover and wouldn't understand. And also, this is a perfect book for summer, because what is more fit for a summer read than a book set in a heat wave in England? And also, if you plan to read this book, get the UK version, not this American version, because this do not have the map in it. And the UK version has a map of the tongue, which is very helpful. And next, I got a very comforting contemporary novel, that is Brad Mary Was Here by Frederick Bachman. This follows a senior called Brad Mary, and she spent most of her life as a housewife, taking care of her family, her husband, the stepchildren, and also the neighborhood. But one day, she suddenly decided to left home and find a job in a small town's recreation center. And because she spent most of her time home, there are so many things in the world that she's first time to learn, so it's very interesting to read it. And also, you got to see how the townspeople and Brad Mary influence each other. This novel is very delightful to read. It's almost like a coming-of-age story, except the fact that the main character is in her 60s, and we got to learn things with her together. In fact, Brad Mary was a character from one of Frederick Bachman's other books, My Grandma Asked Me To Tell You She's Sorry. So if you ever plan to read the My Grandma book, I recommend you to read that first, and then read this book. Although they are standalones, but Brad Mary do appear in that book, in the timeline before she is in this book. Following, I got a modern classic. This is Mrs. Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winfield Watson. Mrs. Pettigrew is a governess, and one day she was sent to a client to taking off the client's children, but her company gives her a wrong address. So she suddenly became the woman to the rescue and helping a singer and the singer's friends with their daily problems using her wisdom. This book took place in a total of one day, and because in that day, Mrs. Pettigrew was living totally outside of her comfort zone, so you got to experience the dramatic things and also the conflict things in her life. It's a book that will make you really happy and will leave you with a positive note. And following, I got a series of manga that I really recommend, and they are called Cheese Sweet Home by Konami Kanata. Chi, this cat, is the sweetest cat in the world, of course, besides my cat, and also, this is a must-read manga if you love cats. She got lost when she was a little kitten and she was adopted by Yuhi and his parents. And you got the funniest daily moment, including how she got trained when she was a 
Kinan and the relationship between you, his family, and Chi, and the relationship between Chi and other cats in the neighborhood. And the most fascinating thing about this manga series is that it's so realistic. Every action and facial expression of Chi and other cats are, were captured very accurately. And you can get a sneak peek here, like this. This is how my cat will react when she got angered or something. So please go check it out. It will make you happy anywhere, anytime. So this video was started with a memoir. So I feel it's proper to end it with a memoir as well. And I was talking about My Life in France by Julia Child and Alex Pudum. Julia Child was a very famous cook, the author of Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and also she has her own cooking show. In this memoir, she talks about how she met her husband, Paul, and the many heartwarming things happened after they moved to France, and how she got into cooking, and why she started to write cookbooks. It's very hard to describe this book, besides that, Julia Child was a very charming woman, and her dedication to her career makes her more than attractive. And I really love the relationship between Julia and Paul, and I think it's a model of the partnerships. And that's all the books for this video. I really think there are some good reads, especially when our emotion was in a little bit of lower end. But you of course can read them anytime and no matter what emotion you are at. And I truly hope all the difficulties will pass for my friends one day and she will achieve the things that she want to do. And also I hope we all have a very happy summer. And in the meantime, happy reading. See you next time. Bye.